One Australian woman each year is killed by a violent, controlling male who she knows. One in four Australian women have experienced physical or sexual violence by an intimate partner. In all likelihood, we all know many of these victims. And unfortunately, I'm one of the people who has had to, to wait for text messages to come in and phone messages to come through. And the phone calls are much worse, wondering if someone that you love is still alive. And it is in, in the time that I have left in this place, however long it might be, I will dedicate myself to working to stop this violence. Mm -hmm. I'm really sorry. For those people who haven't experienced, you can have no idea what it's like. And for the people who sit innocently on the side, and as I've said, wait for that call, wondering if someone they love is okay, it is, it is traumatic. And when you're there at night and the phone rings and you wonder what you're going to hear, it is a terribly traumatic experience. In my time speaking with some of the tireless volunteers and the dedicated people running a women's shelter, women's shelter in Launceston earlier this year, I heard about the specific challenges women face when they choose to leave a violent relationship, which is actually when their personal safety risk does tend to increase, and how sometimes these women choose to stay in their homes if there's no other housing available nearby. They simply have nowhere to go, and often they have children to consider as well, so they stay in the house. Oh dear, I'm really sorry about this. The issue was very widespread and COVID exacerbated it. Any single act of domestic violence being perpetrated against a woman or a man or against children or any individual in a relationship is unacceptable. We will work with the government to tackle this. 